Hi there, this is Debbie. This is a new design I've come up with. I'm calling it Bandeau, which I believe is French. And it, of course, means band. Bandeau. Um, I really, really love how this design came out. Um, I did it all in the jelly bands and specialty uh, double bands. These, I think, are, what are these? Oh, these are the um, pearl turquoise and pearl white, which I guess are now our silks. Anyhow, there's that one. And this one I did in um, all the little the bands here. These are all jelly. These are all, these lighter purple are opaque and the dark purple. They're called opaque, but to me they act more like jelly. Um, the, the deep purple and the mango to me feel like a jelly band more than an opaque band. And as beautiful as I think this is, let me show you the first rendition. Um. <laughs> um, yeah. Mm. Doesn't always come out right off the loom as this does. Um, uh, we need to do a little bit of editing. I had an idea, but the initial execution um, was definitely lacking. <laughs> so. Uh, for those of you who are considering trying to design your own um, bracelets and have maybe attempted it and have had a little success to start out with, don't worry. It keeps happening no matter how long you're looming. You get these duds. So I started playing around with different colors. This one, instead of using the same color all the way up, um, I, on, on this side, if you can see, this band here is the um, glow-in-the-dark purple, and the ones going this way are the, um, where are they? They're purple with sparklies on them. <laughs> if you do intend to do this, this look, when we do place bands, the bands that you place at this angle, are the glow in the dark. Um, that's just a heads up, but I won't be making that design. Here I tried, I want to know, I want to try the um, bronze bands and then the pearl blue and uh, yellow and white here. And so I did that scheme and then I reversed on this side and I hated both of them. <laughs> uh, I tried it this. These were some tie-dye bands that Michaels used to have. They're very, they hold their form well, but I did not, I don't remember them being really good otherwise, but these would have been nice to still have around. I have a few of them. But this is the one I'm actually going to do right here. And it's the opaque white, the opaque black, and the um, Persian, I think it's the Persian. It's got the gold on the outside, the white. They're the 600 count, not the 300 count. The 300 count would be one of these bands. They're much more robust. But I think because they are dual colored, that they are a little bit thicker than just plain opaque. So I thought I would do that for my dis, um, demonstration. So this is the loom. It's six bars across. The two in the middle are parallel to each other. And then the outer four are parallel to each other. So, the first thing we're going to do is place all the A-colored bands, which are the gold and white. We will not start here. We will start here and place them all the way up. Until... Pretty sure I, this is the last one I do. Um, yeah. Let's just place it there just in case I'm 
not quite sure of um, my schematic here. Um, you will be placing the final one here. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so this was one step down from the ones in the middle. So pretty much not cutting the first. That one's all twisted. You will be placing all the way up till here. And then on this side, you will be copying what we just did on the left. As far as um, where I am in time here, I don't know when I'll be ever publishing this, but I'm making this the same evening I made um, the All Hearts, All Heart design that I dedicated to the Rainbow Loom people. And I had some gloves on because I was trying to like not touch the gloves for a month to see if maybe by a long shot that's what's causing this. Um, my doctor says, very unlikely. There's no test you can do. All you can do is, like, stay away from it for a month. But, you know, I couldn't take it. <laughs> I mean, what's the point? If I do have an allergy, some far-fetched, you know, weirdo allergy to something in these bands, am I going to stop looming? I don't think so. I mean, unless it turns into something like anaphylactic and I can't breathe. Oh <laughs> yeah, but I'm still breathing, just a little irritated by all this. So, yeah, to heck with it. All right. So, that's the placement of your A-colored bands. The next thing you're going to do is place your B-colored bands. And I'm using white. Um, the B will be your extension and you know where the white, where you see the white, that's the B color. So I'm going to double it up here because I don't have it in front of me. But when I make um, just single length and need an extension, it's just so much nicer for the the extension to be double thickness. And we're going to go here. And here, and all the way up the side. And I find this really, there's Wolfie. <laughs> okay, and then let's see. We will be placing here and then here. Okay, now we're going to do the same on the other side. I just really love this design. I mean, it didn't take too long to get from here to here as far as, you know, figuring out what I did wrong and what I needed to write. But I love how it looks. I just think it's going to be one of my favorite designs to date. Not my favorite. Um, I think I'm going to be in love with Mei Ling for many, many, many more designs before she's been ousted from her throne of my favorite. Okay, there you have it. Next. We are going to also take the eight color band, and that gives you gives you this. It gives you you know the white on both sides and the white up the middle. And see, this is what it looks like on the other side, which is nothing to write home about. <laughs> this um, this is definitely a side a design where one side is definitely the um, the star of the star takes the star role, if you will. Okay, these single, 
single loom designs, it just goes so quickly. So we'll do the same here. I haven't been on Facebook, I, Instagram for two days. I should be on that, not doing this, but this is what I'm in the mood for. So this is what I'm doing. And it's quiet. My husband's got the younger girls um, watching a movie, Paper Moon, thinking they will like it because of the age of the girl of um, Tatum O'Neill. Anyhow, um, let me turn the camera off and then I'll turn it back on and proceed with the next step. Okay. This will be a little bit out of, of the norm as far as, you know, your regular routine and procedure. So we're not putting any caps on, but we will turn it around as if we were all fully capped. And on these... The A bands. I just love this technique. It's so pretty. We will be starting from the inner side of the band, reaching under the B colored bands or the white bands. And see the gold right there down at the bottom? We'll be grabbing that. So we'll be doing that up both sides. So that's how it looks like on this side. I'll do one more, then I'll go off camera and finish it, although it should not take long. Um, when I'm off camera, I can lean back on my sofa and ease the pain in my back. So this is what it looks on this side. Like This is what it looks like on this side. You start from the inside and go out and then reach under all the white bands so you find the gold band and bring it over. I don't know who first came up with this technique but I like it. I like it a lot. I've seen other people use it too. And it's just so pretty. Alrighty. See you in a second with the next step. Just finish these two rows all the way up to the last the last ones that are on the outer pins. Once the last bands on either end are done here. We will turn it back around. This is very important. Or you will put the next set of bands on the, back, the wrong way. And when you go to loop them back, you'll figure that one out. <laughs> okay. So now we will take our C color, which here is black. And we'll start by placing one here. And one here. And then we're going to zigzag up each side. So we'll go here and here. Now, you, it's really hard to tell on this one, but I did this design the same way as I did um, this half right here. So see how it's the, um, the glow-in-the-dark purple going this way and then the glittered purple going this way? If you want this double effect, here I use the um, I do. I used the ocean jelly right here and those are the ones that went here and are going this way. So as you zigzag, these were my ocean blues. Going this direction, I used the navy blue. You can barely see it, but it'll give it'll give a little bit more dimension. So if you want this color to stand out, the part of the band that goes this way, it's the ones that are angling this way that you will change. Does that make sense? If not, don't worry about it. 
it still looks nice. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go up each side. You don't have to go back and forth. You can just zig and then zag. How's that? this quickly because it's so redundant but given the short length of the loom it's like a walk in the park. Almost there. And this is going to end and it seem a little unusual but it's okay. It all works out in the end. Your last band will be right here. Then we will finish this side. As I said, if you want to highlight that color, the bands that angle this way are the ones you will want I to. Like <laughs> We'll want to um, use a different color for, or or more of a deep, and you know the color that's going to pop. And I'm going to go off camera and finish this because there's a little distraction past. Now that we have the C bands, the C colored bands finished, we will turn it back around. We will not be placing our cap on yet. That'll be later. There's no need to do it yet because now we will be taking the um, this last these last A bands and doing the same thing. Just reaching underneath the C bands, grabbing it down there on the bottom. And it doesn't really matter. I, I'm just going from right to left. So it should not take too long. There's Maybe ten of them on the single single length loom. And this is kind of a um, it's one of those designs that's um, pretty tight, so I think even with a full double length, um, you know, two full looms, um, you might have to do one or two bands for the extension, and I highly suggest that you you know, do the two cap, you know, double cap, and I'll be double capping here so that you can make a thicker extension. Of course, you know, on this length, I mean, it's, it, I doubt it'll be anything more than maybe, you know, one, ex one, um, band's length on each end, but we will get to that when we get to it. But I just want to give you a heads up on that. Okay, almost done. Three more. I don't know why I keep making tutorials when I'm so far behind on other things. I've got at least ten of ten or twelve of these already um, on the computer. Not all of them have been edited yet, but quite a few have. But got to do what I got to do when I feel like doing it. <laughs> All right. So, we have those done. Now, I'm going to take two bands, wrap it around, wrap them around my hook one time. Pull it across one band or wind pin and cross the other. And I just think that if you have to make any extension length that you do it double, it just looks nicer. Unless you've got it's unless it's only a two pin wide design. But if it's a thicker design you definitely want a thicker extension. Okay, next we will be taking Oops. We will start by putting our hook in the right direction and bringing this band and this band. 
now we are just going to zigzag. Now this is a little different. It's because it's it, this one's going to seem a little strange, but you find it. I mean, what it does. I guess what the difference is, it doesn't make the full teardrop. As like this, see, this one does the teardrop. This one won't because it's hindered by the A bands. So that it looks like that is completely normal, okay? That's the only thing there. Get past the A bands. So this is the easy one. And this one, you just have to find it and bring it out. Alright, so you'll be doing that up one side, and then you'll do the same on the other. It's not a very complicated design, but I think it looks really nice when you're finished. Oh, it's past my bedtime. But here I am looming. All right, here we are. I guess I could have been a little neater on those, but I'm just, whoops, trying to get this finished so I can get to bed and get on my tablet for an hour or so and work on all those Instagram posts that I haven't gotten to. Okay, and you can push these down a little bit to give room for the white bands that we'll do. And then we'll do it again on this side. I really hope you guys like this design because every time I pull out The one, is, and I love these colors too. Of course, you can't go wrong with the ocean colors. All right? Good Lord made more of the ocean than anything else, so he had to pick the best, awesomest colors. <laughs> but purple's cool too, even though it's not an ocean color. Don't worry about that too much. You saw that fall off the pin, but you know what? We're finished looping in the middle. This is probably be a little sloppy when I pull it off, but I can I will show you how to straighten it up. It's pretty easy. And a toothpick will help. Toothpicks help me because as you all know my fingertips are tender and it's hard to work the bands into their right position when your fingertips are tender. All right, so we've done that. Now we are going to loop all of this. And it'll feel a little strange because, again, this will not be a full teardrop either. Well, none of these will be because of of what we did. So you do that on that side and then you'll do it on this side. I'm going to just show you the beginnings of each of these steps so that I can sit back and finish the rest. Okay, so you could do this all the way up both sides until these last pins and then you'll come back and do it up the outer. Okay, so you'll reach and what you're looking for is this pin, this um, band right here. So you pull back the, the gold band and it's right there, see? So you'll do that on both sides too. Let me show you a couple of them on this way. On this side, it's the exact same. So you'll do all both those up to here, 
and then you know you can if you want finally loop this one to here if not I'll show you how to finish it off but in the meantime first loop um, the second and fifth rows and then the outer rows and they will not be a complete teardrop shape don't worry about it just make sure you grab the band and bring it on over it and especially this one will will be taut so don't you know don't be over enthusiastic just you know reach for it and just gently bring it over so that you don't break the band and mess up the design. Okay. I've brought this band right here over, over to this pin and this one over to this pin. So all we have left to loop is this one and this one. So we're going to bring these over and I just realized, hold on, this, oh, there's some in here. I need a large clip. This one being only a single loom length, I will be making an extension and I'll show you why I like to double. You know, I use these two here. It's just so much easier than having to try to move bands over to another pin so that we can loop a connecting band through. Oops. Where are you? Hold on a second. I got to angle this so I can see both of them. Okay, there we go. So I turn the hook so the hook part is down. Pull two through. Grab two more, turn the hook upside down, pull them through. <laughs> One, two, three. I think I'm doing five on each side. One, two, three, four. One more set just looks so much nicer when it's a thicker um, extension. Okay. okay, so now I have all that secured. It's time to pull the band, uh, pull the bracelet off. one in one of my little containers at my feet. So that I can show you how to make these little bands look all perfect. Most of you can probably figure it out, but alright. You can pull them up like that with your fingertips, especially these here because they're down a little bit. But see like this one here, one half is rolled, the white side is showing and you know it should have two. So if you pop it out like that now you can see the two golds. And if it hurts your fingertips, the toothpick is not just for teeth. Just reach down and use that. See? Especially the ones on the side because, as you can see, they're all kind of sucked down. And you want them a little more prominent. See how they're down like that? And this one's way down in here. See where? And you just give it a little flick if it doesn't want to um, show its proper side. So anyhow, I'm not going to 
do all that on camera. And if they're a little crooked, you can just twist them like that. Straighten some right out. It'll look nicer. I, hopefully I can take a photograph of this one, even though it's a short. I'll just do a little portion of it like that so you can see how pretty it is. But there you have it, my book. Banjo. Love the design. I should show you the back of it, even though, you know, the whole point are showing these really cool, cool rounded bands. This is with the jellies. And these, I guess, um, these gold bands are more of a consistency of a jelly as far as they're kind of holding their shape. I haven't tried making these little bandos here with um, just regular opaque bands. I'm not sure they could hold, hold, hold the shape as well. Anyhow, if you like this design, uh, please let me know at Deb's Thing. And if you want to see more of my designs, be sure to subscribe to Deb's Thing so you can get notifications. And check me out on Instagram at Deb's Thing. And if you'd like, you can follow me. I would love, love to have you um, post your renditions and let me see how awesome you make this. Good night. Bye-bye. Hello. I'm back. I'm such a knucklehead. I forgot to show you how to finish off so the um, extension. So I'm putting two bands on each one. And so it's kind of going backwards because, you know, you'd be adding them this way, but most of us do it like this. I'm going to make five. And now I will take my double cap. I just want to show you how much nicer it looks with the um, double thick extension. It's, it definitely makes the bracelet look much more um, respectable. I should have grabbed one of my bracelets with just one. But see? It just, it, it just looks more finished. And so when you're wearing it, even the full adult wrist, it doesn't look quite as, as wimpy, okay? Thanks again. Bye-bye.